a very good evening one and all welcome to my video my name is Samil Shah in this video I'm going to be showing you the code or I would rather I would say uh, show you how you can upload files um, uh, images CSV or PNG files on Streamlit uh, for those who don't know Streamlit it's usually used for rapid machine learning deployment on web apps so basically in short basically converting your machine learning projects into a web application so i'm just going to show you a simple snippet here so the snippet what it does is basically you can select an image or a whatever file you want and it's gonna like show you that file on the screen so basically we'll just learn how to upload a file on um, streamlit okay so without wasting much of time let's get straight back into coding okay so let me pull up everything up uh, let me pull up my uh, snippet section so we can get started all right let's get started okay I'm gonna zoom in a little bit make sure that all right so let's start coding so the very first thing we need to do is basically first of all we need to say import OS import sys as usual uh, import sys come on um, after that what we need to do is basically we need to say um, we are gonna say um, import and we're gonna say streamlit oops was it streamlit so we're gonna say import streamlit as st uh, that one okay uh, as usual we'll say import uh, say pa come on pandas as pd uh, what else do we need uh, we need from io from io we'll say import bytes io and we'll say string io accept uh, exception let's see or uh, some modules are okay this is my uh, style of programming usually my uh, imports are in a try catch block alrighty that sounds good. Now what I need to do is basically, uh, I'm gonna write a very simple code, otherwise if I start writing object-oriented code, people won't understand. Be because I'm talking about not just object-oriented, I'm talking about like inheritance and you know, like design patterns and all of that. But let's do a simple one right now. And then I'll show you how we can, you know, mock the code into a state-of-the-art object-oriented code. So um, first thing, first thing for all, we'll say st. Uh, we'll say st dot info, and I'm gonna do dunder doc. Basically, whatever um, document doc doc string you give. Uh, okay, so that's done. Um, then we'll define a small Markdown language. Uh, I mean, basically a small like a CSS. So I'm gonna do that. So basically, I'm just gonna display the image in full width um, as 100. Now, I'm gonna add that here. Okay, markdown style, okay. Uh, now, what we need to do is basically, we need to use the file uploader object from um, Streamlit. So I'm gonna, create an, uh, I'm gonna create an instance of a class, file, and I'm gonna say st dot, and I'm gonna say file um, underscore, and uploader uh, hopefully the syntax is correct one sec okay that's the code so st.file uploader and we'll say upload a file type as csv png or so we basically say hey you can only upload these file uh we say show file is equal to st dot Okay, so initially nothing would be selected, right? So initially it will be empty. So I'm just gonna say, if not, so if not file, um, I wanna show a message. So I'm gonna say, show file dot, I'm gonna say info. So show file dot info, um, and we can say, please upload a file, and we'll do format and I'm gonna just join this wait a second um, 
so let's do this yep makes sense now um and then we'll just return a null value i mean an empty string because if you don't upload anything initially you did not upload anything so you want to say hey please upload something on the file right like some kind of a message now all we have to do content uh we'll say file uh we'll say get values value value so we get the value and then yeah that's simple we just say we check the instance so if you say uh, if it's a, a, if it's instance uh, of that file if it's a byte io that means it's an image the user uploaded an Im image so we can show that on the streamlet using show file and we can just say image and whatever user uh, uploaded the image else if not if that's not the case that means uh, user uploaded something else then you can uh, it's a csv file usually or something like that so you can say pd dot uh, so we say read underscore csv ah, come on data frame yeah that's pretty much it man um yeah that's the code let me yeah let me call the main function here i'm gonna provide that in the snippet so yeah don't worry about that so now ah come on so you can just say streamlet uh, run or oh, this demo yeah so run that it's gonna start a server um, yeah you can upload whatever file you want so for example drop your files so uh, whatever you want like uh, PNG I don't know if it's, it's gonna work oh works so subscribe to the channel <laughs> yeah so I did promise you something you know like okay this is good why don't we write straight of the art you know like we are software engineers right so let's do a little bit object oriented i'm not gonna go too crazy here um but i think i can yeah you know let's create a file object here okay uh um uh, we don't actually i mean it's like a static class but yeah what I can do is keep, ah, hold on, the ST, uh, uh, yeah, I mean, I could create like an instance variable and just used all the instance variable there. So the file uploader object, uh, yeah, you could define here in the constructor, self dot file types. Like, yeah, I mean, you know, I mean, you can write an object oriented code if you want. Let me just do that. So for if you guys want to see that, um, I'm going to post both the codes. So whatever you want. So I'm going to define the types of file. Okay. And um, um, yeah, that's all. So hmm. no um, styles. Uh, that's a style, right? So now in the run method, what I'll do is basically I'm just going to dump all of that here. I mean, essentially, yeah, same thing. Um, and say for two markup as style as this is defined as a global variable here it's fine uh, file is equal to we create an object here instead of this you could just say of course self dot file types now show files Yeah, same thing. Content. Yeah, I'm just dumping it in a in a class. Nothing, nothing fancy. I mean, yeah, I mean, same thing. I mean, I'm not doing it too complicated, you know. Otherwise, it's gonna be. Yeah. I don't want to do too too complicated. Also. Yeah. yeah. I guess that's all, man. I mean.
All right, so if you want to run this, simple. Um, you can create an instance of a class. Or if you want to pass this, you can pass. I mean, it's, yeah, I mean, just, I'm just creating a very simple one, okay? Helper.run, that's all. So, yeah. So, uh, streamlet run demo.py. Yeah, it'll, it'll do the same thing eventually. So, yeah, I mean, that's an object-oriented code. Um, yeah, whatever you like, whatever you are convenient with, um, do that, I would say. Uh, if you like object-oriented, if you, you can also make this as a singleton design pattern because ideally you just want to create like one instance. If I do so much thing in one, one code, you know, people will be crazy at me. So let's just stop here. I uh, hope you have enjoyed it. I'm going to include both the code, the object-oriented and the simple code in the description. So yeah, check it out guys. And if you have any more questions, uh, let me know. And uh, thank you for watching, I would say. Um, as usual, guys, uh, keep smiling, keep coding. See you guys next time.